God gave Marion a condo and eased her way at U.S. immigration? Sounds far-fetched, but not if you're Minister Hall. I'm doing better, hey. way better since you left. Before returning home, Marion Hall checked in with American immigration to ensure there'd be no issue getting back into the U.S. And before that, the former dancehall queen was almost, she says, homeless. When was the last time you shed tears? I cried some months ago. Mm, and it has to do with immigration. It was tears of joy because I went to speak to an immigration officer who said I wasn't qualified, you know, for what I was requesting. And I was just like, Jesus Christ, no, Jesus Christ. I keep saying Jesus Christ. And I, it's like the Spirit said, don't go outside, sit here, because he said I have to call so and so and so. And the same officer came out like, say, 20 minutes after and come out of his post and come out to me and said, I'm going to send an email for you to, you know, so-and-so department. The same one who said I wasn't qualified over and over and over did. <laughs> it was just God. The unqualified became qualified. That's what I'm saying. Just like that. Just like that. Because I listened to the Holy Spirit. Don't go outside. Sit here. And I sat there. And when he came, he had a different, everything changed. He was smiling and like he wants to hug me. And I said, this man must have gone on the internet and check out who I am, you know, or who I was. But even when I had was to go back, like he said, you might have to come back next week. Or so. I said, I don't mind. When I went back, everybody in there, like, you know, you have other women going, you let me your lady saw. And I said, I, I was, you know, but all favor. And I just cry. I don't worry about things no more and delays and setbacks because I know God is going to do it. He does everything for me. Everything. Did you know I was almost homeless? Like I'm preaching in a place and they say I can't preach there no more. The place is rented. It is sold. You know, nothing like that though. They just wanted me out. And I... But you were I, living there too. Yes. I tell you, it was just God. And God spoke to me and sent me back to a place. When I just baptized, he sent me to a one bedroom by the beach. And he said I should call. So I called the man and he said he has one bedroom left. But it's not clean yet. I said, I'll clean it because it's already furnished, you know. And I tell you, when you humble yourself, you see. So I didn't complain. I just, by faith, you know, because the Bible says without faith, it's impossible to please God. And God started talking to me. The same place he took me is where he bought me a condo recently. <laughs> Did I tell you I found some money? Some money popped up that was hidden. It was, they didn't know where to send it, so it was stuck. And so it's a nice chunk of change. I'm, I'm on the beach, honey. Oh, I love your money, yeah. 